Hello guys, so my name is Quinn Quinn. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing this sort of thing, a fan fiction reading, and uh, I hope to do more of these. Hope you enjoy. Here goes. What is it, Levi? What's happening to you? No, what's bothering you? It's been weeks ever since Levi has started acting strangely. His appetites changed. He happens to let himself get messed up more than he usually doesn't. He would work much later than he usually does. Sometimes he even stays up overnight. It seems as though he doesn't get any sleep. More like he doesn't want any sleep. It's been worrying you. Every time he sees you, he'd show some sort of emotion. Sometimes, he'd go as far as hugging you like he hasn't seen you for months. You turn your head towards Levi's table. He isn't there again. He's been skipping meals, locking himself in his office, finishing his paperwork. I've had enough of this. Everyone in your table turned their heads to look at you. Obviously, they had heard you mumble something. You ignored them as you rose to your feet and headed for the corporal's office. Three knocks. No answer. You turned the knob. Not locked. You peeked in, seeing no living flesh inside. But the room is a bit messier than it usually wasn't. You thought that he may be in his room, so you headed there. Three knocks. No answer. But since the door wasn't exactly closed, it opened a bit. You pushed the door further, opening it, so your head could peep in. And the first thing that caught your eye was a head full of raven hair on a slouch figure. Levi? He stirred at your voice, but he kept still, looking down and hummed in your acknowledgement. Levi, you finally let yourself in and advanced towards him. It's been weeks, Levi. What's bothering you? Silence. You sat beside him with your hand on his shoulder. Levi, you've been worried. You trailed off as you noticed a tear escape his hidden eye and vanished onto the floor. Levi. You cupped his cheek and brushed away his bangs. He leaned in your touch. I'm sorry. He breathed out, his voice slightly quivering. You made him face you but his eyes remained on the floor. This isn't like him. Levi. Silence. Look at me, Levi. He obeyed slowly, but there it is again, that look in his eyes. Suddenly, you felt arms wrapped around your waist and Levi's face nuzzling your shoulder. You slid your hands on his chest pushing him a bit so you can look into his eyes as a silent plead for an answer. He pulled away and drooped back into that position you recently got him out of. I just can't take it. He started. I keep having dream nightmares. One way or another, I'd lose you to one of them. Your eyes widen slightly as you draw in a breath. It scares me. What if it does come true? It scares me that I don't want to sleep anymore, knowing that I'll keep seeing you die over and over. He buried his head in his hands. It's too much. Losing you, I need you. For once, 
His tone was dripping with emotion. It hurts you seeing him like this. You wrapped your arms around his torso, rubbing his back comfortingly. I'm right here, Levi. I love you and I'll do whatever I can to live for, to live with you until the end, together. He returned the hug. Together, he echoed. He could barely restrain the smile tugging his chapped lips. Yup, so don't let those dreams rule over you, okay? You looked up to his face as your hand rested on his temple and stared at him lovingly. Then you felt chapped yet soft lips on yours. Immediately, you kissed him back, letting your hand tousle his hair, and he pulled you in his t- onto his lap. You let him explore your mouth and let his tongue dance with yours. The kiss felt like forever, yet it was too short. Soon enough, you two pulled away. The damn oxygen just had to interrupt. I love you name he never sounded so happy I love you too Levi hello so that would be the end of together Levi X reader or in this case in YouTube it's Levi X listener I hope you thoroughly enjoyed that as much as I did I would like you uh wait <laughs> well uh i hope to see some suggestions for more fan fiction that you would like me to read and um oh yeah did i mention that i was the one who wrote that fan fiction I, I was the one who wrote this one it's mine yeah and i have more i have some for supernatural i have some for boku no hero i have some for well, more Levi, because the Levi. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, um, don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, suggest some fan fiction, um, sh- maybe short stories, anything from Reddit, for example. I would love to read them. Anyway, see you in the next video. Bye.